Hello. Let me show y'all how I make scent spray on my lures to cover my scent up. Extra virgin olive oil. I know some probably gonna comment, oh, this will do that, this will do that, this will do this. I've been using extra virgin olive oil my whole life. That's what I put on my all my plastics. And just this is just a 16 ounce bottle. This is a rice cooker. And just pour the whole thing in there. See how I'm just dumping it in there? Just dump it in there. All you gotta do is just dump it in there. Just like that. And that's all of it. Because I need to make some scent. I ain't been making no scent. All right, that's it. And then just go at Walmart and get you a, and get you a pack of this brine shrimp. I mean brine shrimp, brine shad that got up there. That's all you need. I usually go out there and take my cast net and catch fresh ones, but I'm gonna show you. This is all you need right here. You can just open this up and don't even hold back. Don't even hold back. Just dump the whole thing in there. All that old, all that old salt juice. You know what brine? You know what brine means? Salt. You know what preserver means? Salt. So now you got the salt in there, and that's all it is to it. Just like that. And if you're gonna cook this on the stove, put it on low heat, and just let it sit there and cook. reason you want it the reason you want it on low heat you ain't trying to fry fish you don't want to fry it you're just trying to get the oil out of it all you want is the oil to come out that's why you dump the whole thing in there i mean if you watch youtube videos you see guys they want to put it in a blender and chop it all up get all kind of guts and stuff in there i ain't gonna have all the guts in there i don't want all that in there now i gotta strain that when you use it whole like that you ain't gotta strain it and when I get done, that's gonna smell exactly like shad. Then put the lid on it. Just like that, and you're done. Let me show you. Let me show you what it looks like. This is just a quick little video. See it in there? Just like that. See, it's a rice cooker. See? What I got it on, keep warm. I ain't got it on cook. I ain't trying to cook it, see? If I flip this down like that, see, now it's on cook. Now we're gonna have fried shad. It's gonna fry it hard. You ain't gonna get the oil out of it if you cook it like that. I don't wanna cook it like that. I mean, I just turned it on cook right there while you was watching the show. You don't wanna do it that way, but it's all right to turn it on like that and get it good and hot, but this one's already hot. I already had it on. And uh, what it does, it keeps it 148 degrees. I put the water in there. I shot it with my with my laser. I just done sit there for hours. It said 148 degrees. So that's not frying. See how warm that is? Only 150. So you don't want to do it like that. This is right. This is an old rice cooker. What it is? See, an old Black and Decker rice cooker. I mean, this is the one Grandma had. That's why I'm using it to make bait. This ain't a new one. This is old and wore out, but it still works. So it, it does good to make bait. Let me show you one more time. See, there it is, right there. See, it's hole in there, eyeballs, everything. There's a hole, and just let that. Just let that sit there and cook. When it's done, after you done cooked it for hours all day, and then all you gotta do is get you a spray bottle, just like this. Just get you a spray bottle. This in here was on clearance at Walmart for $3. See how big that is? You don't even need one that big. But it wasn't for $3, so it don't matter how big, the, how big it is or whatever. So that's why, that's why I had 16 ounces of olive oil. 
I would have just got one of them little ones. But, I see, one pack. And when that gets done, just pour it in there. And then you just spray it right out. Put it on your jig, your crankbait, your worm. I know you're saying, well, that's a worm. It don't smell like shad. Well, that don't matter. What difference does it make? It don't smell like plastic. It don't smell like paint. It's going to cover all that up. All you're doing is trying to cover up the sin on it. And if it smells like shad, that's what they used to eat. So what better is that? As long as it smells like something to eat. Okay, like and subscribe. Comment at the bottom and tell me what you think. Thanks for watching.